The new and used car market is red hot right now, so you might be asking yourself, is now the right time to buy? Well, joining us today, we have Tony Walls with Town & Country Credit Union and Todd Pultney. Did I say that correctly? <laughs> Ptolemy, but that's Ptolemy with Valley Imports. Uh, welcome to the show, guys. Thanks for having Thanks us. For having yeah. us. Yeah. So I was mentioning that I might be in the market for a car. So is now a good time to buy or sell a car? Well, from the finance side, I'll talk about first. Okay. Let Todd, sure. talk about the the, the actual car market. Um, from the finance side, we see a couple things going on. Okay. One, um, I've done on the consumer side for 10 years, auto loans, and I call them toys, you know, <laughs> boats sure, and everything those. and campers. Those are in short supply too. But this is these are the lowest rates we've had in 10 years that I've ever seen. I mean, we've got rates as low as like 1.49 right now okay. on auto loans. So I think you see that, which it's such a good time for rates being so low to finance. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that we see is is a couple things is obviously the economy's coming back. Yay! We're <laughs> starting to we're starting to come back right? a little bit, and and you know some people are still getting some extra government money, so they have some extra money to maybe go get that used sure. car or something. And then you see people getting back to work. I mean, just drive down the street, you see, yeah. you know, a, a million signs for help wanted. So right. um, kind of those two things from the finance side are really pushing the market on my end. Okay. And then how about, actually, are there, yeah. Yeah, the car business Cars. is really good right now, okay. uh, actually. Uh, one thing with the auto industry right now is we are seeing some inventory challenges uh, if you drive around the lots or mm -hmm. looking a little bare. <laughs> uh, basically what that's stemming from is a computer shortage, computer chip shortage. Okay. Uh, when the lockdowns came last year, basically it did two things. It uh, shut the computer factories down, computer chip factories, and then the demand went up for everything with everybody being home, on your computers, distance learning, that sort of thing. So when the, the factories got back and running, there was a big backlog of demand for the chips. Well, a lot of people don't realize that each car has between 30 and 100 plus chips on them, mm. depending on your options on the car. And with all the new technology, they're not getting any less, they're getting more chips on them. So, uh, the manufacturers right now are having a hard time getting enough chips to, to meet the demand. Okay, so used cars then. Used car you know? prices are up. <laughs> used car <laughs> prices are up. Okay, yep, so that, that's it's, probably... It's a good time to trade your car okay. because your car is worth good money. Right. So if you can find the right new car, it's a very good time to trade. Okay. So what, um, yeah, if, if, you know, why is the market kind of acting this way then? I mean, is it, it's mainly this microchip it's going to be the mainly the shortages because yeah. people can't get new inventory and by doing that they're trying to fill their you know lots with something so sure. they're trying to get used cars uh, they're actually a lot of places are buying them off the street from people they're offering to buy their cars just you know personally right so. yeah so i know i'm like okay yeah i don't know if i'm ready <laughs> 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 what kind of car am i gonna get you know but um yeah it could be a great time to to sell and, and it sounds like the market rates too so they're incredibly low in the past 10 years you said yeah i i, I did mortgages for 10 last 10 i've been on the consumer side everything but the first mortgages and i mean i'd say typically just the ballpark the last 10 years they've been you know three to five percent i would say todd would you agree with yeah. that okay and now we you know with the score over 720 we're looking at you know possibly 199 on a four or five year term so when you look at, you know, especially if you're buying a forty or fifty thousand dollar car to take it from four percent down to one point nine nine, that's cutting your interest in half. So you can right. buy more of a car right. um, with the same payment. So it's kind of the perfect storm, I would say, between between the inventory, <laughs> right. you know, the, the the new cars. So it, it's demand the demand on the used cars is going up. And plus, with people getting back to work and the low rates, it's kind of the perfect storm of, of kind of to explain what's going on. Because I've had a lot of people ask about you know, hey, is this true? In fact, I called Todd, and who I've known since I was 19. I said, is this legit, or is there really a car shortage, or are they just trying to make some money? And then he, he yeah. uh, told me what he said here, so it was very educational. Well, I know myself driving around thinking I'm looking for a new car. I'm like, where are all the cars? But <laughs> <laughs> there are still many to choose from, too. So, And people are, like you said, you know, bringing their cars in, too. So if people don't want a brand new car, they want a used car, or they can still find that so how can people get a hold of both of you well so Todd our website is valleyimports.com uh, come check out the inventory and um, yeah we've Work got a lot people. of we've got we've got some cars now we're, we're pretty fortunate awesome yeah there you go and we're yeah. us as always is townandcountry.org uh, you can apply right in line for an auto loan or any type of loan or stop into one of our, our many branches in town all right well thank you both I was like this is the perfect segment I right? get me fired up for a car there you <laughs> go so thank you, Tony. Thank you, Todd. Appreciate Thanks for that. Having us.
Coming up on today's show, this fall many students will be heading off to college. If you aren't quite sure where life is taking you, our next guest might have the answers.